now that we took a look at the settings, let's talk about the other tabs within a Notebook course. The first tab in the course is the bulletin. And you can see the bulletin here. As the professor role, you have some additional options in how you can post. You can attach and record, which everyone in the course can do. But you can also delay a post, and you can start a conference using the post in the bulletin. So let's take a look at some of those features. Perhaps in the bulletin, I want to post a welcome message for my class. Welcome to spring 2021. Maybe I have more information under that, but for the sake of the demo, I just want to start there. You could attach something like your syllabus right here so that they can see it and click on it right away. You could attach a photo of yourself. Those are just some options of things you could attach. If you click attach, you can go ahead and navigate on your computer to find what you want to attach. You could also record a welcome message. You can record audio or a video. I'm not going to turn my video on right now, but I'm going to show the audio. If I click audio, I can go ahead and record a welcome message. So welcome students, et cetera, et cetera. When I'm done, I can click stop. I can preview my recording. I can also enter a recording title. Or if I decide I don't like it, I can record again. Please note, I always tell people to download any recordings they do in Noble and keep them for their own record, just in case something goes wrong in the process of posting. I'm going to click Use Recording, and we will see I have the recording right there. Something that's great that professors can do and students can't is this delay option. If you click delay, you can actually choose when the students will see your welcome post. So let's say I want them to see it tomorrow at 8 a.m. I can do that and click save and it will show me there. This conference button, this is a way you can trigger to start like a Zoom conference or something. I don't recommend that and we'll talk a little bit more about posting Zoom or Google Meet links when we get to the doc. As the professor of the course, you'll see that you also have the ability to click on the three dots here and pin something. If you choose to pin a post, that means that post will appear at the top. So even if I make a new post now, it will go under this post since this one is pinned. You can also click the three dots and choose to unpin your post if you wish. You also have a great filter here. So if you're like, oh, one of my students, Pamela, she posted a really interesting article in the bulletin and now I can't find it, you can always choose to filter your post by the person who posted. I want to revisit that anonymous. So let's say I did post as anonymous. It will show up to everyone in the class as anonymous, but if you hover over, it will say who posted. Since I'm the one who posted, I hover over, it just says you. If it were a student, it would say their name. Also note that on bulletin posts, you can make comments. And in those comments, you can also do a recording or post an attachment. That's all for the bulletin. Now we're going to move on to the roster tab.